there's a lot of people out there who struggle to gain weight and maybe you're one of those people and I want to explain on an underlying level why that actually is and I want to mention a book called how to analyze people on site and I'm going to link it in this video and it explains how your physicality is composed of your psychology. So your physicality starts with your psychology and how you think. So the book mentions five different archetypes of people. So out of everybody on the earth, you can categorize them into one of these five archetypes. One, there is the assimilative. This is the fat man. This is the man that eats. Self-explanatory. Then there's the cerebral. This is the man that thinks. This is the thinker. They're always in their head. Then there's the osseous. That's the bony person. The person who has a lot of skin and bones, not a lot of meat on them. Not a lot of muscle. Then there's the thoracic. The thoracic type, they have good blood flow throughout the entire body. And, they, and their largest feature on their body typically is their chest. They're going to have a, a, a very active respiratory system and circulatory system. And they're going to have finesse with the way that they move and do things. That's the best way you can describe the thoracic. So you have the assimilative, the cerebral, the osseous, the thoracic. And then there's the strong type. This is the last type. The strong type is also self-explanatory. Their physicality will be composed of muscular, of a muscular build. These are the five types that everyone fits into. And understanding these allows you to understand your psychology. See which one that you are. And why is this important? So your entire life. You have been focusing blood to a certain body part. If you're the cerebral, you've been focusing it to your head, not your stomach. The, the assimilative has been focusing their all of their blood to their stomach. Because when you eat, you have to digest that food. Your body is going through a mel metabolic process to break that food down. So all of the blood is going to your stomach at all times of the day because you're eating, you're snacking in between. The cerebral is the opposite. So I want to focus on, on, on some of these some of these archetypes. I want to focus in on the assimilative, the cerebral, and the osseous. Because if you and you can be multiple, you can have a sub-archetype, if you will. And a main archetype. Your main archetype will manifest itself or show itself in your actual physicality. So the cerebral, if your main physical, your main archetype is the cerebral, and maybe your sub archetype is the the osseous, you'll have, in proportion to your entire body, a larger head, and you will have longer limbs, and you will be bonier than others. So why is this important? Understanding your psychology, understanding what archetype you are, now you can actively, I, I, I don't like to say work against, but now you can be conscious about it. Because a lot of times we operate on a subconscious level. We just do things that essentially is the easiest for us, that makes us feel is the easiest route so the cerebral type he will always 
be in his head. He'll be on YouTube learning different things, whether it's he might be geeked out on video games or he might be geeked out on chess or he might be geeked out on philosophy or history, one of those, something. He's always in his head. He'll forget to eat. So if you struggle to gain weight, understand that you are most likely the cerebral type. Nine times out of 10. So now you can make conscious decisions about that to, to counteract that. Manifesting in your physicality because as a man is very important. This, is, this goes for females and, and males, but for men it is imperative that we have a good physicality. Good meaning a strong build. So we're always, if it's not at a good point, we need to be working toward a good point. Which you won't be doing as a cerebral. You will be on the video game, on the computer, missing breakfast, missing lunch. Snacking, not eating. Not getting the correct amount of calories. You don't even realize that you didn't eat for like uh, the last six hours and you don't care because you're the cerebral type. And then same for the assimilative. If you find that you're overweight or unhealthy on that other end of the spectrum, overweight. Maybe you have health issues caused by your weight because it's too much weight. Then you know that you need to be lowering how often that you are operating in your assimilative and you need to operate more in your cerebral. And vice versa. If you find that you are the cerebral type, you need to force yourself to operate in the assimilative in order to get these gains. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's important that you realize that, that concept. And something that I want to point out, an experience when I was operating in my cerebral, just one of many, which obviously I'm actively working against or counteracting those behaviors consciously on a conscious level, forcing myself to go eat big meals even if I'm not hung, that hungry to eat all of that. But a time when I was operating in my cerebral. So I'll just say that there were people close to me that I would, I guess you could say, not I didn't feel intimidated by, but I felt as though they felt as though they could intimidate me. I felt non-threatening or unintimidating. And when people see that, they take advantage. So me thinking, okay, as a cerebral, I'm thinking, okay, all I have to do is, and this is where you find the skinny guy in the gym pumping iron. When it's like, bro, you really need to be making sure that you're in a calorie surplus. You need 3,500 calories per day to maintain your weight. So to be in a calorie surplus, you need more than 3,500 calories as a male every day, every day. You need to be training your body with eating more food and operating in the assimilative before you start getting in the gym. What are you turning in the muscle? That's going to limit your gains because you don't have anything, any fat to turn into muscle you have no fibers on your body eat more be in your assimilative first don't get straight in the gym so back to my experience operating my, my cerebral I'm thinking okay I need to bulk up what should I do as a cerebral I'm referring to all of the animes that I saw I don't know if you guys are anime fans but I'm a huge anime fan even still, I'm referring to Avatar The Last Airbender. Great series. 
I don't know if you know Uncle Ozai. Or was it Ira? One of the two. Zuko's uncle. The fat man. The assimilative. Intelligent man, though, if you really watch the series. But there's an episode where he's locked up and he needs to bulk up. And he does. And it's an anime, so they, they exaggerate it and they give you this time lapse. They take out all the time that it's going to take. They take out all the boredom that it's going to take. They take out all the consistency that it's going to take. And they just show you him going from fat to muscular by doing handstands and doing upside down push-ups and all types of crazy stuff. Like, So I'm thinking in my head, okay, I need to be able to do some upside down push-ups, some handstand push-ups and bulk up real fast. No, you need to, it's going to sound very boring, but you need to be eating more, plain and simple. That is your training right now. You don't need no fighting training. I mean, that's not bad if you do. You don't need no gym training. You don't need none of that yet. If you are not in your assimilative, if you're still operating in your cerebral and it's showing in your physicality, meaning that you are underweight. Why are you trying to bulk up and you're underweight and you're not in a calorie surplus? Achieve that first. So now I started to address the psychology. Stop referring to anime and all of that. It's going to make it seem lavish, like it's going to be a pretty process. No, it's going to be very boring. Your training is going to be sitting in front of a tray of food that you need to get through. The same way you do a certain amount of push-ups or you do a certain amount of repetitions, bench pressing, whatever, that's how you need to approach that plate of food. Every day, not just that plate of food, but every plate of food throughout the day. I need to get through this plate of food. Every, every bite is a rep. And when you finish that plate, you're done, you're set. And then once you start seeing results on the scale, you start gaining weight. Then you start hitting the gym. And you start molding your body into what you want it to be. Don't skip the steps. It's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be fun. Nobody is going to care. Females are not going to clap. They are not going to be there singing at the like at the end maybe yes they, females will be waiting at the finish line they don't care about the grind the process and it's not their fault they are not wrong for that they don't care about your process nobody does keep that to yourself make it look easy hide how much work you had to do and just show the results like how the anime do pop out on them or oh, everybody that that slept on you and, and pop out on them a whole different a whole different person i'm not even that person no more that person that you know you this person is not accepting that person whatever that person was taking i'm not accepting that because i'm a different person physically mentally I think I made the point. You need to make sure that you address the psychology. You need to make sure that you eat more. Plain and simple. Whatever you got to do, do it. Make it happen. If you don't get the results you want, Look at the results. Okay, I ate X amount. And then come back to the drawing board. Okay, I need to add more. Or I need to change something. Take control. Tighten up, man. That's all. I hope y'all got the message. And I'm going to link the book in this video. Check it out.